Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, um, create a create a um, a cylinder where where the volume is one, and uh, minimize the surface area. Okay, so so um, it, it could be a a short but fat cylinder, or it could be a a tall but thin cylinder. So find find a find H and R where um where we where, where where you have the minimum surface area. Okay, but the volume must be one. Okay, so uh, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, um, the surface area is given by this. Okay, and uh, the volume is given by this. Now vo the volume has to be one, so set this thing here to be this. Okay, so so this is what we're going to work with. Um, this here is your constraint. So rearrange this. So uh, rearrange this so so that we can later plot a graph of the surface area versus the radius. We don't want this H here. So re rearrange this here and then put this. So H equals this. Put this into the H here. Okay. So uh, so that S will become this. The surface area is given by this. Okay. Tidy it up. It will then give you give you this. So now we can we can we can sketch a graph of um, of surface area. We we can now hang on. We can now um, we we can now bear with me. We can now sketch a graph of S versus R. Okay, so so lo looking at this here, um, this is so so it's like me asking you to sketch a graph of uh, x squared plus one over R. It, it, this two here is a constant. This here is a constant. So um, sorry, uh, this here should be an x. Um, so is it, this is very very similar to this. Okay, so so when x is big, sorry, in, in this case, now we're going back to here now. Um, so when r is big, it wants to do a quadratic, a positive quadratic. So it wants to do something like this, a positive quadratic. Okay, and when 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 r is small, this term here dominates. So it wants to do a positive reciprocal. So it wants to do something like this. So, um, so merging the two together will give you something like this. Okay. Um, so now we want to. So, so this this is a graph of um, of this is a, is a graph of S versus R. So we want to find out the minimum. So at the moment you've got a graph of S and versus R here. So basically to find out this point here, we've got to differentiate this. Okay. So so uh, differentiate it. It will then give you this. Okay, differentiate it. We will then give you this. So we we looking at the graph here. We want to find out where the gradient will be zero. So we want to find out where the gradient will be zero. So so set this thing here to be zero. So um so that will take us to here. Okay. Now now it's just a matter of working out r here. So um add this block to both sides. That will then give you this, and then times both sides by r squared. That would then give you this, and then blah blah blah. Um, R equals this. Okay, so so now we've got we've got, we've got our radius. So um, so H should be quite straightforward. Okay, so uh, remember that H is given by this from from earlier up there. Okay, from earlier H equals this. So now we we just so this is our R, and we want to know H. So basically, we we just need to put this into here. At the moment, it's quite ugly because of this thing here. So let's tidy it up. Use whichever method you want here. So, um, so at, rewrite this here as um, as uh, one over two pi to the power of of um, one over three, and then just use in your your knowledge of indices to to tidy it up. But basically, so far, what we have is that you you you've worked out your radius. All we need to do is put it into here to find out um, to find out h. Okay, so it's just a matter of playing around with um, with your knowledge of indices. So it's blah 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 r blah blah blah. Um, just play around with it. That will then uh, when when you get to this stage here, uh, when you get to this stage here, uh, visualize it as one block uh, times another block times another block here. Okay, well just Think, think it through. Um, 
press pause if you have to, blah, 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 and it turns out that H equals this thing here. Okay? Um, so what that means is that um, the cylinder, the cylinder that will minimum that the cylinder which will give us a volume of one uh, with with a minimum surface area is when the radius is is this. Okay, so when the radius is this, and when the height is given by this, but this is this is not a very elegant way of expressing the answer. In the video, um, in the next video. Um, we, we, we will express it in a more meaningful way. Okay.